California killed all the bears, all the grizzlies. Did they it? used to have, they, well, the California state flag is a grizzly bear. Yeah. And their bears were similar, I believe, in size to coastal brown bears, um, the, the grizzlies, the, the brown bears that used to live there. And there's a place in California called Levesque, um, is a town called Levesque that was named after, I believe his name was Stephen Levesque. And he was the last man to get killed by a brown bear in California before they eradicated them. So this is in the 1800s, I guess. So they just started killing them all. They just killed them. Fuck these things. They're killing everybody. Yeah. Like, let's just kill them. You can sort of see why. Oh, yeah. But a polar bear is even more madness again, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen that BBC show where they put the guy in the glass cube? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, what was going on there? <laughs> that is so terrifying. <laughs> the thing is just smelling meat inside that cube and trying to get through it to get yeah. to him. It's biting it, and you see its massive jaws, and they don't eat anything but meat. Yeah. So they're they're <laughs> the most dangerous of all polar bears, and ironically, they're the ones that we make the seem this. to be the cutest. This. So just, <laughs> this that thing. How do you know that's going to work? By the I way, know. did but you try that out on a bear? It looks like a X-wing fighter, doesn't it, from the inside? Uh, and this bear just gets to it. It's like, oh, there's meat in there. How do I get to that meat? I just that. And we make those things out to be our friends. You know, that's that's the, you know, what would you do for a Klondike bar? You know, they sell Coca-Cola. They sell Klondike bars. And this this bear is just a super predator. Baloo. Baloo yeah. was a bear. It's systematic. What's Baloo? Baloo, Jungle Book. Oh, yeah, the yeah, The friendliest. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it, that the, yeah. we anthropomorphize bears. Yeah. More than just about any other creature. Yogi. Yogi. Paddington bear. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friendly, cuddly. I mm -hmm. think I think because they... They do look quite appealing, mm -hmm. and they are dog-like, aren't they? They're slightly dog-like, snout, sure. shape of head. Well, we put hats on them. And Only you could prevent forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> and they want to—they want to eat you. Yeah, they want to eat you. They want to eat anything that's slow. I mean, that's what they're there for. They're nature's cleanup crew. A friend of mine walked to the North Pole for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and um, and he was and he had a lot of training beforehand. This is a long time ago, but the 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 polar bear training was that he talked about was quite difficult to absorb really effectively it was that there was no there was no gun that you could carry on an expedition like that if you're just on your own or with three other people with sleds right. there was nothing you could carry that you could immediately produce that would stop a polar bear an adult polar bear so the best thing they had was a is a, a short shotgun that had a solid bolt just a solid bolt in it mm -hmm. and if you could get that one thing off you could stop it, but there's no gauge of shotgun that was going to stop one of these things. It was coming at you. So they carried this thing. <sighs> they carried this thing that had a solid bolt in it. That's all he had. I don't know much about guns, but that's what it, that's what they said they were given. Ugh. There's some pistols that you can effectively unload into a bear and stop them. A 50 cal would stop it, would it? Yeah. Well, sure. A 50 cal. I don't think they have a 50 cal pistol, but they have 40, you know, 40 magnums, 44 would, magnums. Well, that would stop a bear. You have to shoot it multiple times. Yeah, not one. And you know, and like if you have a thirty-eight or a nine millimeter, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Is that just a, like a bounce right off its head? Their heads are so thick. You, you could literally shoot it in the forehead, and it probably bounce off its forehead. <laughs> I mean, they bite each other. You've seen them go to war with each other when they bite each other. Oh god! They have insane amounts of power and and bite force. And they're just clamping down on each other's face. And they'll do it for half an hour and walk away like it was nothing. Okay. That versus a big gorilla. That's a good question. We've had that question many times. What is it? I think the gorilla is at a severe disadvantage because it doesn't really kill anything. Yeah. So the gorilla just gnashes its teeth at other gorillas and makes like he's a badass. And they have incredible power. But they don't even eat meat. Whereas the bear, all it does is run around killing things. It's all it does. Kills things and eats dead things, and that's what it wants to do. I got my money on the bear. I love it. I love it. What I know about <laughs> is cars, and I'm here to asking questions about bears. But well, they're fascinating. It's a they fascinating are. part of our world, and it's all the anthropomorphizing is a really fascinating aspect of it. And I think in America it happened with Teddy Roosevelt with the teddy bear. I think that's the beginning of the end. And then Disney movies were a huge problem. Disney movies are a huge problem because all the bears are your friend. They all talk to everybody and, hey, and say, why would you kill the bear? Like, that is a giant forest dog. That's an evil animal that it doesn't give a fuck about you or your kids. It'll pull you out of your tent. It'll eat you. 
One hundred percent. And they're wonderful and they're beautiful. And we should definitely keep a healthy population of them. I'm not saying we should eradicate them, but know what they are and don't be influenced by these goddamn cartoons, cartoons and movies, which have people's heads up. Yeah. 